for a start, it's one of the few times I think that you as a filmmaker can be totally true to your own vision. If you're uh, shooting a feature, chances are someone else has put a lot of money into it and therefore uh, you're going to have a few other opinions in your ear. With a short film, generally, it's your vision, your idea, your mistakes, um, but uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's down to you. I also think short filmmaking is a wonderful way to test yourself as a storyteller. You have to be so economical in your script, in your direction, in your shot selection, in everything. And uh, with nowhere to kind of hide, you've, you're really testing yourself. And I think it's a wonderful way to learn. And ultimately, if it's not a triumph, it doesn't matter. You've, you've, you've had a go, uh, you've learnt some stuff, and you're ready to make film number two or ten. Or 400. Doesn't matter, keep going. Well, I guess everyone has their own preferences. Uh, I love something that's visual. I think, uh, especially with short films, you can do so much more quickly and efficiently if you're visual rather than being uh, heavily word based. Um, I think short films also lend themselves to one strong central story, uh, multiple plots, and multiple characters can get a little bit challenging if you've only got a, a, a short time frame to work with. So um, one clean, engaging story, I think, is, uh, is often a key. Um, when in doubt, I, I like to keep the subject matter a little bit light. And I don't mean slight, I just mean that often short filmmakers have a tendency to head towards the, the dark and the, the slightly brooding. And uh, when you're seeing short film after short film, it is so delightful to see someone who's come up with um, something funny, something uh, just something interesting and uh, offbeat and off key and unusual rather than uh, the often heavy subject matter that um, you see in this field. Uh, beyond that, there are no rules, although I've just given three, so maybe there are.